There's a super simple way to ensure that your social media graphics stand out in the feed and look unique. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you some crazy simple ways that you can accomplish this using Canva's text effects. All of the text effects that I'm about to show you are easy enough for total beginners, but will also impress the more advanced graphic designers. You can use these to make your Instagram graphics look more unique, your Pinterest pins more clickable, or to level up any other graphic you're creating to market your business. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Kristen, and on this channel, I share branding and graphic design tips, tricks, tutorials, and productivity hacks for personal brands and online entrepreneurs. Welcome to the inside of my Canva account. This first text effect happens to be one of my all time favorites and that is the curved treatment that you can apply to the text in Canva. With your text box selected, you will see this bar up at the top and you need to click into the effects section. This is going to open up a left hand panel here where you're going to see all kinds of effects that you can apply. So click on the curved option and to adjust the curve of your text, you can move this slider to the left and to the right. The right hand side is going to curve your text on the inside. And if you swing it all the way around to the left, you're going to see the circle flip and your text is going to be curved outward. What I would like to do is make my curve match the curve of the graphic that I already have on my canvas. So there's really no way to get this perfect. You really just need to eyeball it. And that is how to simply create curved text. Once you've mastered the curved text, you can also play around with creating wavy text. Adding wavy text to your graphics is going to create some visual movement, which is pretty interesting, and it's going to make your graphic have that fun and playful feel, if that's your style. To accomplish wavy text, you need to start out with two different text boxes. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. We're gonna have one line say meal planning and the other line say workshop. Okay, so you need to work with these text boxes one at a time. And again, I want to follow the general shape of the wavy, wavy circle that I have going on in my design already. So click into effects and then curve and adjust your curve to fit. So you wanna keep in mind what number you have over here, oopsies, in your curve setting. Make this text the exact same size. I want to make my text the complete opposite, so I'm going to do negative 50 for this. The next thing that you need to do is kind of visually align these text blocks so that they look like they are on the same path. <laughs> There's no super simple way to do this, you just kind of have to eyeball it. And Let's move my images around a bit just so it kind of has that flowing feeling and it's really playing off of the images. All right, so that is how to create wavy text. Isn't this just a really fun technique? I've used curved text in my own logo. I use this style in some of my done for you logo templates and I've recently started playing around with it in my Pinterest pin images. So the next text effect I'm going to show you is the highlight text effect. Let's say I want to make the word craft projects pop and I wanna draw a little bit of extra attention to this line of text. Bring in a rectangle shape and then I'm just gonna adjust this rectangle to sneak it in right beneath this text block here. You can adjust this depending on the length of your words or your headline or whatever phrase that you are trying to create a focus on. You can then make this any color you want. So let's go with yellow. Looking at this Pinterest pin image, the word craft projects jumps off a little bit more and my eyes are drawn to that specific text on the pin image. And while we're on the topic of making text pop right off of your graphics, I'm gonna jump into the next text effect, which is 
adding a background shape. This is really helpful when you want to make certain words like your keywords pop and to do this you're you can just tap the R button it's going to bring in a rectangle onto your canvas and then you are just going to position this rectangle directly behind any text that you want to make pop off of the background and stand out from the other text in your headline. This really can help you incorporate text into graphics no matter how busy that background image is. I'm going to get this rectangle right behind the text here and I'm gonna change the color. Let's go with this bright purple color. I am going to change my text to white and that immediately draws a lot of attention to that part of your headline and really kind of creates an interesting look in your design. Another great effect that you can apply to your graphics is the text shadow effect. Now this is gonna come in really handy when your text is maybe fighting with the background or any other design element in your layout. I'm gonna use this YouTube thumbnail as an example. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see. This looks really great, really eye-catching, but I'm struggling with this little section right here where I cannot see the word edit, right? I'm using this white outline style, which is super popular on YouTube right now, but I need this text to stop fighting with that white outline around my, um, my headshot. So to do this, you can click into effects again, and then you want to click into shadow. From here, you can change the direction, the transparency, the offset, and how blurry your shadow is. You can change the offset, which is how far your drop shadow is from your original text. That looks about good. And then you can change the direction. So because I'm trying to make this text pop off of that white area, I'm going to move the direction to the upper left-hand corner. I'm gonna change the color, bump up the transparency to 100%. Now that text is really readable and it's no longer fighting with that white outline. And this next text effect that I'm gonna show you is the lift. To create the lift look, again, go into the text effects and then click on lift. You're going to see that there is a black lift shadow that appears behind any text that you select. Okay, you can adjust the intensity of it. There's not a lot of settings in here. This is a pretty straightforward effect. So I'm gonna set this to 100%. I'm gonna do the same thing with this text below. And as you can see, it just adds a little bit more visual interest and makes that text pop off from the background. And if you wanna make this a little bit more intense, you can group your objects, copy them and paste them and you can keep stacking your text until you're satisfied with how lifted they are from your document. Now let's create some big blocky text to grab your viewers' attention and get them interested in your message and your content. This one is a really fun and super simple technique that you can create using just a couple of text blocks in your Canva document. Create separate text blocks for each line of text. And we're gonna do... What you want to do is get all of your text boxes aligned to the left first. As you're moving text over, you are going to see these dotted lines appear, okay? So your text is going to click into place when everything is aligned to the left. The next thing we're going to do is adjust these text boxes. When your text box is the exact same width, you're going to see that dotted line appear. That is telling you that your boxes are perfectly aligned. You're probably going to need to adjust some of your text as you go through this because you don't want big gappy spaces in between. You want all of your text boxes to be the same distance apart. Another thing that you could do with this is add a block of color behind here. Take this a step further and let's make all of this text Let's just make it white. This is super simple and it's really, really eye-catching. And let's just drop a photo back here to complete the look. Ta-da! If you want your text to have a super subtle kind of 3D look, you might wanna try out the hollow text effect. To create this look, go back into effects and click on 
hollow. From here, you can adjust the thickness of the outline of your text. I'm going to copy and paste another version of this, remove the effect, and adjust it just down and to the right of my outline to create this really fun 3D look. Now, I know it's going to be tempting to jump straight into Canva and test out all of these text effects on your next design, but it is really important to not overuse or overdo these text effects. When it comes to creating marketing graphics, simple is usually better. So keep that in mind as you're playing around, and if you're going to use any of these, use them with intention. All right, well, let's jump in. There is no doubt about it, these Canva text effects are going to help you create more eye-catching, scroll-stopping, totally unique graphics to market your brand and your business. For more graphic design, branding, and Canva tips and tricks and tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And while you're there, don't forget to hit that bell notification. That way you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. I hope you feel inspired to create your next set of marketing graphics, and I cannot wait to see what you create. Bye.